brand. This shit has changed my entire perception of J. Cole, bro. J. Cole is a fucking monster. What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. Bot ticket on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with the watch, Night Watch? Man, um, shout out to What's the Dirt YouTube channel, man. Um, I came across this video, and uh, they're explaining the beef between J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Which I found interesting, bro, because I was not aware of any beef, spatting, whatever the, um, there's been between K-Dot and J. Cole up until this point where Kendrick sent direct shots for everybody to see. You know what I mean? But apparently, there's been shit brewing between Cole and K-Dot for a minute now, and I had no idea. Um, I peeped a few minutes of this video. Well, actually, I cap a few, a lot more than a few, but it got to a point where I wanted to uh, stop it and record it, man. It's got the juicy part, bro. But um, everything I've heard up until this point seems pretty valid. You feel me? Uh, and it's just dope diving into all this. Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody worried about no punk ass Drake, dog. That's that's lunch meat. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, that's lunch meat. K Dot ain't worried about no fucking Drake. K Dot, I, I definitely am aware that K Dot has had he's had a little beef and spats with Drake for years now. Ain't nobody worried about no damn Drake. The the contention and the main focus it seems to like the real hip hop heads is between K Dot and Cole, you know, and who's the best. People are really emotionally invested into this whole beef all right especially with j cole y'all know i'm i'm partial to, to k dot k dot's my guy i think k dot is the best smoking of this generation i don't think cole is touching k dot in any form of fashion that's me and i'm entitled to have that opinion bro but people are all bent up and bent out of shape and uptight and pissed that k dot has thrown these shots at cole and shit like it's on some personal shit bro i'm like come on man hey big picture bro we should all be sitting back enjoying what potentially may be happening between the hip-hop giants and what they're about to give us if cole responds bro but this ain't personal man it ain't like these fools about to fight go to no fist to cuffs it's all about who's the best who believes they the best and who gonna prove they the best you know what i'm saying that's it everybody y'all oh my god i can't believe kendrick lamar did that cole didn't deserve it man shut the fuck up it's hip-hop that's it. This ain't no beef. They cool. You know what I mean? They cool. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, this is like Larry Bird, MJ. You know what I'm talking about? I, I would say I would say Isaiah, MJ, but they really don't like each other. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's competition. That's it. Ain't no hard feelings, dog. But if Cole out here talking about he the best man breathing, uh, Kate, I'd like, all right, uh, you forgot about somebody. I know y'all be sleeping on me because I don't. I drop every fucking decade. I saw, I just posted it today. I read in the comments of some video that I saw, and they uh they said K Dot is like Jeepers Creepers. Every ten years he show up and he eats. <laughs> That's what it is, bro. Like people don't like how K Dot may move. People are may people may not like how Cold move or whatever the fuck. Y'all it's subjective. Y'all gonna like who y'all like. Y'all gonna fuck with who y'all gonna fuck with, bro. But at the end of the day, it's just hip hop. It's just competition. Ain't no beef. Ain't nobody fighting. You know what I'm saying? Get out your feelings. All right. Um, but without further ado, oh no, fuck that. We got some more ado to talk about. Make sure y'all pull up the shop, stevenight.com. Anytime you see your boy rocking some drip that you rocking with, man, pull up to the site, find something you like. I got you. Holes the headaches. Uh, tap into my night talk channel. We back. We got that back popping. Got my money back. You feel me? It's been getting lit over there. And uh, now, without further ado, let's get into this. As we close out 2017, 2018, Kendrick had a hell of a year in the awards category, winning BET's album of the year and lyricist of the year over J. Cole. Kendrick would also win several Grammys, but most noteworthy rap album of the year and we can't forget that he was the first hip-hop artist ever to win a, to Pulitzer, win a Pulitzer Prize. Prize. Awarded to Damn by Kendrick Lamar. And now How we get a line from J. Cole that, where he voices his opinions about the Grammys. The streets don't give a fuck about the Grammys. 
At the time, Cole had seven Grammy nominations with zero wins. And then we got Kendrick cleaning up. He had like 12 Grammys to his name. You can take this. Hey, Cole fans. I know y'all are going to quit Cole. Super biased and shit. But try to be objective, bro. Does Cole have any albums that are better than Kendrick Lamar's albums? I know it's really subjective. But trying to be objective about it, dog. Forest Drive is not fucking with no good kid, Mad City. It ain't fucking with no To Pimp a Butterfly. It ain't fucking with no Damn. And it ain't fucking with no Mr. Around the Big Steppers, dog. Because Kendrick Lamar is a better artist. He puts out better work. Yo, I'm talking about rapping, barring, whatever the fuck. I'm, I'm willing to engage in that conversation. It's all subjective at the end of the day. But K-Dot got more tools in the toolbox, man. He's more, he's more versatile. This line however you want. And it will be at this point where J. Cole finally shuts down the idea of a joint project. That's what I'm pissed about, bro. We ain't gonna get no fucking uh, collab. Happen. So that's not, that's I bet you, I'm talking way too much. I bet you, bro, it's just the way to gas a collab. Keep manufacturing this beef. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep doing this shit to potentially have the fucking... The the, the 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 collab album, bro. And that should have sell like a motherfucker, dog. These these fools probably just been been in the motherfucking lab talking about, hey, bro, that's how we gonna get their ass, bro. We gave him a little taste on Black Friday, just a little bit, and we gonna fucking make up this beef. You know what I'm saying? Get them, get get the people going, and then smack them in the mouth with a motherfucking uh, collaboration. That's not a real thing. That's like a some fantasy thing. It's that... not. It didn't come from nowhere. It came from us. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's not like. It's something that's actively happening. And as time goes on, we get nothing but non-stop comparisons and questions of who's the better rapper. K who's the better storyteller? J. K Cole or Kendrick? Greatest rapper of this generation? K -Dot. J. Cole or Kendrick? Who's the better rapper? J. Cole or Kendrick? K -Dot. And at the time, the overwhelming majority would say that, that Kendrick was the better rapper. However, outside of a Black Panther soundtrack and a few he features, ain't been putting no work out. That Kendrick why. is very much absent between the years of 2018 and 2021. And while Kendrick has his feet up, we see this epic shift in J. Cole, where he begins to reshape the narrative of who's the best. Nigga, count me out, I'm counting my bullets. That's such a bullshit-ass argument, though, bro. I get it, dog, because everybody is prisoners of the moment. Just because this man took <laughs> he took a lot, a lot of time off. And that's just come with the territory, bro. You take time off, people going to forget about you. And if Cole been out here busting everybody in the mouth with a thousand features, all right, now Cole was the best rapper alive because K-Dot ain't put shit out. But the last time K-Dot put shit out, bro, he whooped everybody's ass. <laughs> and then when K-Dot dropped shit again, he wins another Grammy. Go to my clips, kill them strangers to the blood smoke, gun smoke. You niggas don't want smoke, no guts like that. Switch it, we just smoke. Okay, no problem. I show up on everyone now, you know what the outcome will be. From this day snapping, forward, bro. I move with a new ferocity. Yeah, I'm the goat. No nigga, don't at me. Put on your coat. Don't work up your coat. This is my year. Don't say I ain't told you. This is my year. Don't say I ain't told you. Hey, barn, Something bro. Something changes with J. Cole. 12 features in 2018 yeah, and he's like, hey, K-Dot ain't put shit out, bro. I can go in there and squeeze and sneak up in there, motherfucker. I, don't, I ain't got to worry about swinging with his ass. Hey, if you can't call, you better uh, have a reply to that motherfucking like that. It's been 24 hours, bro. It's been 48 hours by the time I post this shit. He features in 2019, and he pretty much smoked them all. Yo. Now, the very last time these two will be heard on the same record was on Dreamville's was Under the saying. Sun, was, where Kendrick was had an uncredited hook. I woke up for some money. And even in 2020, fans are still talking about this Kendrick and Cole project, and this time, TDE Punch totally shuts it down. One fan posted, I want Lamar on an EP with Cole. Punch responded, that's never going to happen. Another fan then asked if they were maybe planning something bigger than an EP, to which Punch responded, zero tracks. I find that happen. odd though, bro. It's like, well, why wouldn't it ever happen? These fools are not, that's why I think it's just, it's all plotted. It's all manufactured, bro. You know what I mean, it's all fucking fake. There's, first of all, there's no beef. It's not rat beef. You know what I'm saying? Typically, not typically, rat beef is when motherfuckers do not like each other. 50, Ja Rule, Eminem, and everybody. Uh, Nas and Jay-Z. 
The motherfuckers did not like each other, bro. Cole and K Dot are cool, bro. Go back and watch this original video. I didn't even I didn't even know the upbringing of it. I didn't even know how these two came into the game, bro. Like they came into the game together, like for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But there's no beef, so why wouldn't it ever be a uh, a connection between the two of them on a fucking album, dog? Like they don't dislike each other. It's just that one thinks that they're better than the other. So I think they're trying to just you know gas this beef as much as they can, and then drop that shit on them eventually what it also makes me think about bro it's like you know that's why k dot he knows that he's the best he don't really give a fuck what nobody thinks that's why he took so much time off dropping the album he had writer's block and he was going through shit or whatever drop that fucking perfect album mr morale and the big steppers but it's like he's sitting back seeing what the seeing what the fuck cole's doing and how everybody's gassing him calling him the best and shit he see all that but it's like, bro, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm better than you. I don't need to be out here doing all this, bro. And even with that, I was gone for fucking five years. I don't even know. It's probably like 50-50 at this point. But it's still 50% 50, 50 of motherfuckers saying I'm the best. And they ain't heard from me since 2018, dog. That's how much of a fucking footprint I have on this goddamn game, dog. You got to be out here rapping your motherfucking ass off to, 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 to seem like you're the best. But you know they woke they woke that giant, bro. So what was once a maybe is now just a very stern no. However, it would appear that even after all the work J Cole put in, it still wasn't enough, as he was still being cast aside when compared to Kendrick and Drake. Cole got rings, but he, I, I mean I don't. Nah, put Cole, Cole one of the greatest. Level. He's one of he the is. greatest. He's on the level though. of Drake and Kendrick. Being as competitive as he is, I feel like these opinions begin to bother J Cole and it helps to mold the hungry artists that we've seen in recent years. It's around this time where I feel his last Jay album asked weak, himself man. a few questions like, how do I want to be remembered? How do I want to close out my legacy? And do I really want to finish this thing off with a bronze medal? I had to make a real decision. Like, have you wrote your best song? Did you leave no stone unturned creatively? And when I thought about that feeling, I was like, nah, I'm not cool with that. And in my opinion, he made out in the way, bro. This is where things started. Kate out is in the way, dog. Fans started to speculate that J. Cole took subliminal shots at Kendrick on his album, The Off Season. Big step, a nigga don't get stepped on. Now, there were countless posts on Reddit and people Why, on YouTube who really felt like the words Big Stepper Don't Get Stepped On was a direct reference to Kendrick's Mr. Morell and the Big Steppers. However, Cole's track came out 11 months before Kendrick's album title was even announced. Yeah. So unless J. Cole had some inside nah, information about the album title, I'm not sure how this theory holds much weight. I mean, you guys could tell me what you think. I'm, I'm all for speculating. Nah, bro, it's cap. To me, it really got to make sense. In 2021, J. Cole would address his position of being in third place on a track titled Heaven's EP. Some people say that I'm running third. They threw the bronze at me. Behind Drake and Dot, yeah, them niggas are superstars to me. So J. Cole acknowledges that many people consider him as being number three, but instead of tearing a strip off Kendrick or Drake, he tips his hat to them, complimenting their place in hip hop. The tale's official, the best I, nigga I do think it's disrespectful to, uh, I mean, but it makes sense though. Drake got all the numbers, but he got that machine. But even as an artist, bro, like, it's rap shit. Drake cannot hold a candle to no fucking J. Cole, bro. It's just how fraud the whole hip-hop system is, man. It should just be Kendrick and Cole, and then Drake is over here somewhere on some pop shit. Even though he got the rap in him, he does not deserve to be in the conversation. Drake does not deserve to be in the conversation between J. Cole, Jermaine Cole, and Kendrick Lamar. He doesn't deserve it. Nah. It's levels to this shit, bro, and you're not on that level. Then it just failed to hit you. You couldn't tell because you failed for the bells and whistles. However, Cole makes it clear that the what? fans got his ranking fucked up and calls himself the hardest in the game. He goes on to explain that the people fell for the bells and whistles. What bells and whistles? This could be alluding to the many times that he got snubbed during awards or the fact that he's been known to do very little promo when it comes to rolling out his albums. There's just nothing flashy about J. Cole. He just it looks don't like matter a though. He's not fucking, fucking with K-Dot. And very seldom he is he in the no media, unless it's for his music. Too much hunger, it's no wonder these niggas can't keep up. So saying yes to a feature just means I'm about to eat lunch. Ugh. 
In the first line, Cole references just how hungry he's become for that number one spot. And in the second line, he alludes to the fact that every feature he does, he wraps circles around the artist requesting it. It's been exactly not on that motherfucking Black Friday, though. <laughs> nope. He does. He wraps circles around the artist requesting it. It's been exactly 1,746 days since the last time Kendrick Lamar dropped an album. Since the last time Kendrick Lamar dropped an album. 1,855 days. I've been going through something. This is a level, dog. Missed at the inner city. Miscommunication to keep homo detector busy. No protection is risky. After a five-year hiatus on May 13th, 2022, Kendrick released Mr. Morell and the Big Steppers. The album received mixed reviews, but in my opinion, was his most personal and introspective album to date. This album's fucking fire, bro. And this is why Kendrick Lamar is the best. He don't want to give you what y'all want. He not going to give y'all what y'all want to hear. He going he gonna to give y'all what he want to can give y'all. This, this is what it would take for people to realize that K-Dot is the GOAT and anybody fuck with him. He's never going to do it because he's not, he's not affected by public opinion. But if his, if his sole effort in the album was to just to prove that he's the best rapper alive and he would put that energy into an album, dog, it'd be curtains. It'd be curtains, bro. These mother everybody would be dead. Hip hop would be dead on life support, dog. If he just wanted to fucking go in this motherfucker and say, hey, put cut the beat on. I'm going to cut everybody head off with these lyrics, these bars. Give y'all what the fuck y'all want from me. It's rap. But that's not what he's here for. Like, I'm not. I'm not about to do the little sing and dance for y'all, motherfuckers. I'm here to fucking innovate. Have y'all have people thinking, changing lives, reflect, contemplate, all that shit, bro. Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper, bro. It take it take it take a specific type of individual to put that type of record together, regardless if you fucking with it or not. There's not some shit you cut on for the club. That's some shit you cut on to goddamn grow. You feel me? Same thing with to pimp a butterfly. You can't cut that shit on for the club and just ride out to. I guess you could, but that's not what that's for, bro. That shit has purpose. It has meaning, impact. It's gonna age well. It's gonna be a fucking fine wine, dog. And I ain't here for this superficial shit. But I can dumb my shit down and give y'all what the fuck y'all want, as you see on like that. But that's not what the fuck I'm about. You feel me? I'm about this. Eight. I even got a t-shirt with the album on it. That's that's how much I like the album. I'm Again, fire, bro. fans right here. speculated that Kendrick was throwing shade at J. Cole on his track, Count Me Out. Best album, that's, nobody that's the, the uh, no, no. The best, no, the best record on uh, Mr. Morale is um, Savior. One shade at J. Cole on his track count me out ain't nobody but the mirror looking for the fall off many people seem to believe that because j cole's up ain't nobody but the one in the mirror looking for the fall off hold on had 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 cole said that's gonna be the name of his album yet bro that's such a it's such a subtle pop. those lines fit fit the meaning of that song that's hard bro that's hard, dawg. I did not know that, bro. Kendrick was throwing shade at J. Cole on his track, Count Me Out. Ain't nobody but the mirror looking for the fall off. Many people seem to believe that because J. Cole's upcoming project is called The Fall Off, when did he release that, that this could have been a very direct shot. And initially, I didn't think this was a shot at J. Cole, but J. Cole appears to respond directly to this a little bit later down the line. With that said, J. Cole would appear to take more shots at Kendrick. On and then Johnny it's like, P's how did, I don't know. He, it's like Cole ain't fucking sitting here going through, Cole, uh, K, he probably is though, because K-Dot is his competition. He probably is studying all this shit, man. But that's a reach, because when Mr. Morale came out, wasn't nobody talking about no fucking J. Cole album about to drop, no fall off album? Like, what the fuck? So it must have been somebody in the team found the shit. That's, I mean, if that was a shot, though, bro, <laughs> that, that was a shot, though, no. though. Don't tell me you out here on, on your Mr. Morale, but then you still got time to go pop. <laughs> that said, J. Cole would appear to take more shots at Kendrick on Johnny P's caddy with Benny the Butcher. He went crazy on this shit. 
When the track initially came out, some speculated that Cole was actually dissing Benny on his own record, but even yeah, Benny seen, said yeah, that Benny talk about he this. felt Cole was dissing someone else. If you ask me, he was talking to somebody. Yep. So the guys who everybody compared him with and put him in a rink with, like, to me, that's who he's talking to. I'm probably going to go to hell if Jesus asked for a feature. In the first line, Cole makes it clear that he's bodying anyone on a feature and even claims that Jesus himself would take a loss. One person that's imitated Jesus in the past would be none other than Kendrick Lamar. Some see the glass is empty. I see a glass full of ether collecting his bread and mash like he a Catholic preacher. This line appears to be a reference to Kendrick's music video for Humble, where Kendrick is dressed up as a Catholic preacher, and you can see the empty glass and bread sitting on the table. Ooh. Cole makes it clear that he sees a glass full of ether. <laughs> okay. Okay, bruh. Hey, dog. Because just within the context of those bars, what he was saying, just Jesus wise fits. I will probably go to hell if Jesus asks for a feature. Like if Jesus want me to hop on a feature, I'm gonna go to hell so I'm gonna kill Jesus. I don't give a fuck. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I ain't never, I've never seen, I've never seen, and I've, Cole, like, I pretty much know all the Cole shit, right? I don't know. And I have never seen shit that in-depth, that layered out, that will require that much digging, right? That much symbolism. Like, I, I would bet that that's a reach of a connection as opposed to, what Cole meant by that bar. And I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, then God damn. If, if I'm wrong, then I see why people are goddamn saying Cole could goddamn swing with Kendrick on this shit, bro. Cause that's so, that's so, it's so subtle, bro. It's like how, how that was from, that's from DNA. Yeah, that's from DNA. You're gonna go take it way back from DNA that fucking long ago. You need to have shit more recent for that shit to hit. You know what I'm saying that's a, that's a subliminal, but that's a subliminal like only the really, really, really in the know are gonna be able to catch. You want somebody to catch the fucking subliminal you throwing. That's why it wouldn't make sense to me. Like you want that bitch to hit. How many of y'all caught that? Keep it real. That's bullshit. But that, <laughs> but that though, some see the glass is empty, collecting his bread and mass. I don't know, man. Ah, damn, bro. Damn. It's just cause I've never seen Cole rap like that. That I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical, dog. I'm skeptical if that's what he, if, if that's what the fuck he meant. This is DNA, bro. It's 2018. You taking it back? Five years ago, is dressed up as a Catholic preacher, and you could see the empty dressed up as a Catholic preacher, and you could see the empty glass and bread sitting on the table. Cole makes it clear that he sees a glass full of ether, which could be a reference to Nas's infamous diss to Jay-Z. Oh God, Bruh, I hope, I hope, I hope, J. Cole, I hope those were intended behind those bars. I hope that is. And if that's what J. Cole meant, dog, my whole, you still ain't fucking with K-Dot. You could bar, but you ain't fucking with K-Dot as far as versatility. But that would definitely reconfigure my perception of what j cole can do with this rap shit dog because that's crazy the empty glass i see a glass full of ether looking at k dot ether i'm better than you that's crazy if that's if that's real Live headshot. j cole ends off the verse to state that he's the best rapper alive i'm the best rapper alive i'm the best rapper alive i'm the best rapper alive i am Greatest rapper alive. That's a though, man, because it's see, see, that's what I'm saying, dog. There's so many other rappers out here that have how many times does Wayne say the best rapper alive? Like all the rappers that are that are rapping have considered themselves the best rappers alive. So that's a reach. And then you're gonna go way back in when this is this is like this is like that, that goddamn uh before Good Kid Mad City. This is uh Fuck, what's his fuck what's his first album? I can't remember it. 
Damn, I'm having a brain fart. But this way back. You're you gonna go all the way back then? No, so that's this is a reach. I'm the best rapper a lot. I am the greatest rapper a lot. The heart. No, one asked the best rappers to die. no that's that's got that was just that was just so, my bad. I'm tricking. The heart part for it. But that's still that's you still going back to to make the fucking bar connect. Um, but it ain't as far back. I just I got lost with the the visual they gave me because the heart part four that was after uh to pimp a butterfly and the video y'all just showed was like section eighty. Oh damn great motherfucker, I've died. And I gotta agree with Benny. I do think he is talking to someone, and that someone I feel like is Kendrick Lamar. However, in my view, one of the most obvious and direct shots to date. What come on J calls track the secret recipe. Niggas fake progressive and woke. I started saying less. I had to stop it. Peeped how they profit off a of race of stress. It's no secret that the themes within Kendrick's music often oh, see, reflects but, uh, on it racial was, it was, tension. Oh man, man. Cause fake progressive and woke. I started saying less. I had to stop it. Peep how they profit profit off a of racial stress. I get where he finna go because K Dot has a more nah. He does do the he does often include the racial tensions in America, the civil right activist type of approach, which which can be interpreted as progressive. But it's like in order to call you can you can't call. You can't call K Dot fake progressive and woke. There's nothing fake about what the fuck he's doing. And when J Cole, J Cole not gonna make up no bullshit to talk shit. Like he's gonna find something that is true and then attack it. You know what I'm saying? Like this K Dot is not a fake progressive woke motherfucker, bro. He doesn't capitalize off of racial stress. He capitalized off being a fucking rapper. It would make more sense for j cole to talk about those out there really doing what he's talking about like the media certain pundits out here that are selling fake ass images and perceptions of themselves to capitalize off of because people are really doing that right he peeped it how they how they profit off of stress that's what the media does that's what that's what that's what the world is about that doesn't that doesn't describe kendrick lamar you know what i mean so I don't. I mean, I I don't think J Cole would make up some fake shit. And then it's too subtle. It's not, it's too so it's too much of a subliminal, right? Like if you want motherfuckers to know you're talking about K Dot, you got to make it more direct and confined to K Dot. And that that shit doesn't read K Dot. Started saying less. I had to stop it. Peeped how they profit off a of race of stress. It's no secret that the themes within Kendrick's music often reflects on racial tension and the struggle that comes with it. Drake more or less labeled Kendrick as a grifter in the past, and I feel like J. Cole is taking a similar stance. Studio steppers moving extra on songs fake and rep. The first mm. line appears to be a reference to Kendrick's Mr. Morel. Studio steppers. Damn, bro. Alright. On songs fake and rep. The first line appears to be a reference to Kendrick's Mr. Morel and the Big Steppers, where Cole calls him out for faking the funk when it comes to the message in his music. Niggas making threats and I laugh. That's cause you ain't a threat. Don't ask how I feel about no rappers. Should they okay, I guess. So again, J. Cole is not looking at any of these other rappers as a threat, but most importantly, he doesn't look at Kendrick as a threat. Smoking on your top five tonight. And now for the most damning piece of all, first person shooter. A lot of niggas debating my numero, not the three, not the two on the you and know. So right off rip, J. Cole makes it clear on Drake's own record that he's number one. Numero, you and know, me and Jizzy, this shit like this. It, it ain't pissed Drake off. <laughs> Cause Drake already know what's up. He can't rap better than no fucking Cole. <laughs> record that he's number one. Numero, you and know, me and Jizzy, this shit like the Super Bowl. Man. Now, when J. Cole refers to himself and Drake as being the Super Bowl, what two teams make it to the Super Bowl, the two best teams. By inserting himself and Drake as being the best, J. Cole is essentially omitting Kendrick from the equation entirely. Like a kid that had bad from January to November, nigga, it's just you and Cole. Again, Drake supports Cole's previous Super Bowl analogy <laughs> by stating that it's just him and Cole in the running. 
I'm naming the album to fall off. It's pretty ironic because it ain't no fall off for me. And now we get back to Kendrick's line on Count Me Out with his reference, nobody but the mirror looking for the fall off. And Cole makes it clear that there's no falling off for him. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it Kate Dad? Is it Aubrey or me? Okay, so he mentions Kendrick and Drake, but. We the big three like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. So this is very much a backhanded compliment. He calls himself Muhammad Ali. Now, who's Muhammad Ali? The GOAT. Just think about that. The Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake. Again, as they continue to remove Kendrick from the equation, they need to be prepared for what's to come. And I can almost guarantee that Kendrick will have some form of response yeah. to this record. Guaranteed. <laughs> bro. Hey, hey, bro. You called it, dog. You called it, bro. It been came out seven days ago, bro. You in cahoots, bro. They hit you up, dog. You called that bitch out, bro. I didn't even think about it like that, bro. I didn't even think about it like that. I thought, thought they were just gassing each other because they don't record together. But you are, to my big three, you are omitting Kate out who's better than both of y'all motherfuckers. So, of course, she's going to feel like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all ain't better than me. <laughs> hey, this is tough. This is tough, bro. Kate, uh, Cole and Drake just sucking each other off. <laughs> They fuck K Dot. Drake don't fuck with K Dot. And apparently Cole, I ain't gonna say he ain't fucking with K Dot, but you know, it's competition there. Because K Dot has been whooping Cole ass for years. And now Cole is on his mission to pretty much prove that he better than K Dot. Cause he already got he already got Drake to concede and, and and pretty much admit that Cole better because Cole said he the best on your own shit. And you allowed it, bro. Oh, bro, the subliminal war, bro. That's why that 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 uh that like that like that shit go crazy because uh K Dot was like, hey, ain't no subliminal nothing, bro. Fuck y'all, I'm better than all y'all, bro. They need to be prepared for what's to come, and I can almost guarantee that Kendrick will have some form of response to this record. That's guarantee. hard, bro. Everybody steppers with fucking it. Everybody breakfast and I'm about to clear up my plate. I mean, at this point, everybody steppers to make it any more. Everybody steppers will fuck it. Then everybody breakfast, and I'm about to clear up my plate. Woof. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not disrespectful though. It's just saying that I'm the best. That's what, and that's what I want to bring it back to at the end of this. Right? It's 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 friendly competition at the end of the day. It's all rap. Everybody hungry. It's competitiveness, it's war within a sport. You feel me? It's iron sharpens iron, steel sharpens steel type of energy. Don't none of these motherfuckers really got issues with each other. All everybody's putting money in everybody else's pocket. And you you and you gonna fuck with who you fuck with, bro. But at the end of the day, that's all that's where it stops. It's just hip hop. It's just rap. You feel me? And Cole think that he's supposed if he, and he supposed to it. Rightfully so. If nobody, if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody gonna believe in you. You gotta think you the best. And Cole think he better than Kendrick. You not, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you put this shit out like that, and then K dot come and do what he did. So now, like everybody expecting Cole to respond, bro. But like Cole is pretty much seemingly from what from what they've displayed here, he's been digging in K dot for years now. So it's like K dot was likely likely to respond. This is hard though. I mean, at this point, I don't think J. Cole can make it any more obvious who he's talking about. When it comes to his collaboration records with Drake, there's an ongoing theme in their music that people seem to overlook, and their track Evil Ways is another example of just that. High up in arenas where they see they faves, aka me and Drizzy Drake, we the wave. Again, but, I mean, but like, that's what you, they put, see, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Y'all are on a record together. Why wouldn't they say that? Why wouldn't they say that? <laughs> and they are the wave for their audience. You know what I'm saying? They're supposed to include K Dot. So shit like that misses me. But I mean, all right. AKA me and Drizzy Drake, we the wave. Again, Cole is positioning himself and Drake as being the top two. So if you're Kendrick Lamar, how are you to perceive this? when two of the artists that you've been up against since the beginning out. of your career are making these style of records. 
Then when we look at the reality of the situation, which is the fact that Kendrick does not like Drake. Nope. How do you expect him to respond? <laughs> like I said, I mean, like I'll put my entire fucking YouTube channel on the line here. Like Kendrick will have a response to these records. Hey. I stay out of beef, see niggas DNA get rearranged. J. Cole continues to bait Kendrick he with the line. He it, bro. That shit is so hard, dog. Run it back, bro. That Kendrick does not like Drake. How do you expect him to respond? Like I said, I mean, like I'll put my entire fucking YouTube channel on That's the line here. Like. <laughs> Kendrick will have a response to these records. Facts. I stay out of beef, see niggas DNA get rearranged. J. Cole continues to bait Kendrick. But it's like everything I'm thinking about now is just Kendrick associated. So of course I'm gonna see that. <laughs> the DNA rearranged. I stay out of beef, see niggas DNA get rearranged. J. Cole continues to I bait. I stay out of beefs and DNAs get rearranged. So pretty much you you change, you act different. Cause I stay out. I don't say nothing, but now that I'm back. <laughs> Woo, bro! Hey, I stay out of hey. beef, see niggas DNA get rearranged. This shit has changed my entire perception of J. Cole, bro. J. Cole is a fucking monster. He's a monster. You're not fucking with K-Dot, but you a monster, bro. J. Cole continues to bait Kendrick with the line, see dude's DNA get rearranged, which would be a reference to Kendrick's track, DNA. We can't continue to just ignore this, like it's not <laughs> happening. I mean, there is many signs. However, J. Cole wasn't done and even had more subliminals for Kendrick on his recent release, Might Delete Later. Niggas swear they compare, but the truth humble. If you fuck 112, you couldn't do numbers. In the first humble. line, Cole references how he's often compared with someone, and that someone would evidently be Kendrick with the use of the word humble. Oh, bitch, be humble. Hold up, bitch. Sit down. In the second line, Cole says you couldn't do numbers, which is in reference to Kendrick's last project, where many considered it to be a flop, given the fact that it was his lowest selling album in the last 10 years. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, that's, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. I've been fighting it, dawg, that's right. K-Dot, K-Dot, I mean, Cole has been talking shit to K-Dot this whole time. I'm fighting it, I'm fighting it, bro. It's so that fucking low, though. No, but then, it's, but this is not, this is not, this is not opening weekend. I mean, this is, isn't, this is, is an entirety. It's four million. It, it didn't sell four million the first week. It's probably like, let me, I, I'm about to look it up right now. Let me see. Oh, yeesh, 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 yeesh. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's all, what? Are you serious? Good K Man City 1.7 million. It's been Buffalo a million. Damn a million. Mr. Morale and Big Step is 177,000 in the US. That's it. Oh my God. That's disgusting. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. Are you fucking serious? You barely sold more than Section 80, the fuck? All right, yeah. That's that's crazy. And he won a Grammy for that shit, too. That's wild. I did not know that, bro. I'm hurt. That hurts my heart. This is the same shit he just pulled up. This is total album sales. Oh, my God. It only sold 110. Woo, bro. That's crazy. And after five years, too, that's all it sold, bro. K-Dot, you better not be taking these... Long time prayers off no more, bro, because it's doing the fucking detriment to your wallet, cuz. In the last 10 years. I'm the one that niggas fear on the low ski. In the first line, J. Cole makes it clear that certain rappers are afraid of him on the low. This ties perfectly into what Joe Budden said about Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick talking shit to anybody in the world but a nigga named Jermaine. <laughs> Heard them talking like we peers, but they grossly mistaken and it's blatant. In the second line, Cole points out directly that people think he's friends with Kendrick, but that it's blatantly obvious this is not the case. The reality of the situation is the two have not been seen in the same room together in six, seven years. Zero collaborations have happened, zero support for one another's projects, and they don't even follow each other on social media. 
and I don't know if they ever followed each other, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they did. And many people would argue that J. Cole made it clear in his 2021 interview Damn. with Kevin Durant that he valued his relationships with Drake and Kendrick. I, I, I would, you know, I don't want to be like, damn, I never fucked, I, we never kicked it, you know what I mean? Like, we never really even did nothing. So like, I, I'm, I'm at that point where it's like, I'm more interested in the genuine relationship. Okay, so who does he have a relationship with today? Who's he making records with? Who's he taking pictures with? Who's he showing up on stage for? He's talking about Drake here, not not Kendrick. Back in 2020, J. Cole released somewhat. Damn, so they really not. I mean, that makes sense though. That, but how you go from to how you go from Black Friday to whatever the fuck it is? Somebody must have fucked somebody, bitch. Or somebody must have said something to somebody. There's some shit going on behind the scenes because you don't get this. What they what cuz are selling right now is this didn't happen from motherfuckers just thinking that they better. You know what I'm saying? Cause that little list he fucking uh put up. Zero support. I mean, I'd I have to uh, Zero support for one of the out one of the projects. I feel like somebody could have said something on social media to salute somebody. But um, yeah, they ain't been synced together since Black Friday. Is it is it is it since Control? <laughs> but nah, this ain't no rap beef, dog. Somebody fuck somebody, bitch. Don't even follow each other on social media. And I mean, it's gay, but that's a fact, bro. Like, you usually follow people you fuck with, bro. So if he not, they don't follow each other. They're not fucking with each other. Let me see who Kendrick Lamar follows, bro. He got me invested, bro. Let me see. And even if you don't fuck with him, you, you still you still follow your, like, your peers. Kendrick Lamar. He only follow one person. So that don't mean nothing. Kendrick Lamar follows one person. He has one post. So it's a reach. And then J. Cole, he follow 400, but I mean, and he, he going to follow everybody, which makes sense. So they're not beefing, dog. And I don't know if they ever followed each other, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they did. And many people would argue that J. Cole made it clear in his 2021 interview. Back in 2020, J. Cole released somewhat of a roadmap slash schedule for his music. Based on the trajectory of what we've seen, he appears to be following this to a T. So before we get the fall off, I believe we'll be getting something in the form of a mixtape or EP called It's a Boy. Regardless of the schedule, I think it's safe to assume that not only will J. Cole continue to strive for this number one spot. J. Cole ain't never getting the number one spot because he ain't number one, bro. But uh, that video was very enlightening, my boy. That was dope. That was dope, bro. And if all those subliminals were direct shots, like, I didn't know Cole was rapping like that. <laughs> anyway, man, thoughts. Will Cole respond? Who's the best rapper alive right now? Or who's the best rapper of this generation? I know a lot of y'all gonna say Eminem. I'm talking about that. Who's the best rapper of this generation, of the 2000s, 2010s? Who's the best rapper? You know what? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking put a poll up right now. I'm going to put a poll up right now on my shit and ask y'all. I don't know what y'all going to say. Who's better? Kendrick Lamar J. Cole. Yeah. All right, man. Love y'all.